Hi everyone. So what I have here is a brand new clean pilot template from Flow Themes. So in this video, I'll show you how to make a very basic setup of the homepage and how to add some additional content so you can get started on your template and customizing your template as soon as it's been installed. So what we need to do, um, first of all, is go to the back end of our website and we need to start off by creating a home page for our site. So what we'll need to do is go to pages and click on add new and type in a home page. All right, so here's our title home. We'll leave the template as default, although we do have additional options here. Currently, it'll just be as default template and we'll click on publish. All right, then what we need to do is go to settings, click on reading, select a static homepage, and click on save all changes. Okay, so we'll go back to our template, refresh it, And here we have a blank home page. Okay, so now what we need to do is add an image slider to our home page. In order to do that, we go to Slideshow and click on Add New. So here we have our slide slideshow title, and we'll title it Home Page Slideshow. and we'll just start uploading images. Click on Browse, select Slideshow Images. I'll select my images here. Let's go with image one. Click on Upload. Use this attachment. and I'll add it to a slideshow right now. Okay, so here I have my very first image. I'll go ahead and select another image. And so on until I add all of the images which I want to. So I'll just go ahead and skip a few steps and um, I'll upload all these four images for you. Okay, so I have all of my four images uploaded now and I'm ready to publish my slideshow. So I click on publish. I'll go back to my home page by going to pages And for the home page, I'll select my slider. Over here, I have an option to select a slideshow. And here we have home page slider. For my page settings, I don't wish to have the page title. And I don't wish to have social sharing. I don't want to have any content above my footer just yet, so I'll just leave this at blank. And I'm pretty much done with all of my customizations here. I'll click on update now. I'll go back to the to the home page of my website and refresh it. And here I have the slider images which I just uploaded. Okay, next off what I want to do is I actually want to add my logo to the website. So in order to do that, I'll go to Flow Theme, click on Styling, and here I can choose my logo to upload. So I have a few options for my logo. I can have either a text logo, 
or it can have an image logo. So I'm just going to select an image logo for now. I'll click on Select File, Pilot Logo, use this attachment, make my Retina logo yes or no, I'll select yes. And I'm ready to go ahead and update my setting for now. Let's go back to the home page, refresh it. And here's the logo which I just uploaded. So now that I have my logo uploaded, I want to center align it to make sure that it looks nice on my website. So what I'll need to do is just go to the flow theme section and click on header settings. I'll select to center align it and click on update settings. I'll refresh my home page. And here I have my logo center aligned and my slideshow images. For the home page, what I'll want to do is actually select a few of my latest blog posts. So I'll go to Pages, Content Above Footer, I'll select Latest Blog Post. Title for this blog will be Check Out My Blog. put in four. Number of posts per row. Let's type in four again. And I'll click on update. Okay, so here I have my blog post. What I've just noticed is that we still have our comment section. So in order to remove that, what we need to do is go to our page and disable these discussion forms. Update that page, refresh our home page. And our comment section is gone. Now we can start working on adding additional content like blog posts and additional pages to the website for the navigation menu.